I'm Melissa Chartrand. I'm joined by artist Colleen Corson. Good morning. Good morning. I have to share with our viewers that Colleen, normally you told me, is um, in Key West. Mm -hmm. And that's where all the materials come from. That's right. Florida and, Keys palm trees. Yeah, and I got the email shortly after the first of the year winter storm where you said, I can't believe I'm here in all the snow. First time in a while. Yeah. But it was fun. It was exciting. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about your work as an artist and down what, what inspired you to create these and we'll talk all about how they're made. Well, I've been uh, in the Keys off and on for about 30 years and these materials, especially the coconut seed pod, which is what it's all based on, uh, they're everywhere. Just like acorns or pine cones are to us up here, they're all over the ground. Right. So I've been looking at them thinking, I've got to do something with these and people, other people do. But it, it, they probably paint the coconuts, not necessarily the they seeds. They do. They make the... canoes and boats and masks and all kinds of different things. But if you see one raw, you can see it, it does have a fish shape to it almost. So um, I started doing them about six years ago. And they were a little more whimsical than they are now. And I, someone gave me a Dremel for a gift one time. Mm. And I also bought myself a fishing guide. And from there, that's when things started to take shape and I started to try to create them more realistically like real fish. Right and we were chatting about that because for me I just know a fish is a fish is a fish which shame on me being on Cape Cod but I just think and I look at the pretty colors and meanwhile as you were assembling them you said well these are fresh water these are salt water. Well it's my these, job to know what fish are. Know what fish <laughs> are fish. And you said when people come to buy them the men typically typically will know the fish and buy for the fish that they like. Right and, and the ladies buy them for the color. For the colors but sometimes Sometimes I'm sure there's a crossover. Mm -hmm. Now, why, why did you grow up with fishermen? I did. My dad was a fisherman. My brother's a fisherman. All my friends are fishermen. So fish were always uh, a big part of our lives, what we're catching and what we're eating. And, um, but mainly the fish that I like to paint are the colorful ones that you don't eat. Right. But I love them just because of their fabulous colors and patterns. And, and that's where you said, let's go back to the process of what you see and what it takes on a shape, because there's not too much that you can do to manipulate the shape. You're really pretty much working with Well, nature's what already got it figured out, right. the shape. You, you can cut them, but you can't shape them. I've tried soaking them and making them the shape I wanted work. to, and it goes right back to the way they were. So I said, okay, I get it. Nature's got the shape figured out. So you kind of have to work with what it, what it is, you know. And then I can cut them the shapes glue the uh, the leaves from the tree or the bark from the tree right and when the glue is dry I paint them and let's talk about you said uh, you've done different craft shows and, and we'll talk later about what galleries you are here and where you are um, but you had said you were down south and uh, someone from Amsterdam actually well, that's changed what really your work. changed my whole sure my whole it's just how art develops and right. how your, your work changes. And little did this woman know, I, I did sell them at Mallory Square. Uh, every night they have a, a sunset celebration and we do sell artwork there. But uh, I knew this woman uh, wanted to buy the fish. She looked at it, but uh, she said something in a language I didn't understand and I knew it wasn't good. She said plastic. And originally I used plastic to, for the fins on the tail. And I thought, well, she didn't buy that because it had plastic on it. A light bulb went off in my head, and the next day I started with the, the bark or the leaves from the fish, and now the fish is entirely made from the palm tree. Everything on the fish is from the tree. It's just remarkable. So, now, do you get do, do you get requests for different items? Because I see we have a sea turtle as I well. I do. And I do. I have had uh, lots of different requests of different um, types of fish that people love to fish for. So I've had to do like the largemouth bass. is a, a customer of mine from Falmouth who loves to catch the bass. And I've never done one, so now I do. Now I had you to do add that. that to my. Have you my thought of? Um, you've also done a serving a serving tray. They well, so they they do, that they, can hang yeah, or could be used. Used as a serving dish, and that's uh, it's like nature's serving dish. In fact, in the islands, uh, they do use them as dishes. Maybe not painted, but they do use them as as a vessel because they have uh, the shape of you know for appetizers or snacks right. or whatever. I love like it. That. So. It's so unusual and so creative. Have you, your painting and your artistic um, development before this, before six years ago with seeing these, tell me well, about the, your background. The bizarre thing is I, I, I'm an interior designer. That's what I, what I do for a living. And I wanted to be a painter, a traditional painter. The classics. Uh, the, the classic figures. style, but I just couldn't seem to really get it. It was frustrating. The fish, I can paint them. 
beautifully. So I don't know uh, why, but for some reason it, the fish is my medium, I guess. So I've kind of grown with that. You have. And I love, of course, we have a nod to the shark down south. There are sharks, but of course, in recent years here, they've been visiting us on right. Cape. Right. You have so. to have a great white and you have to have a cod, of course, because of course. it's Cape Cod. <laughs> of course. Well, let's tell our viewers where we can find your work. You mentioned Pinterest. I do have a, a Pinterest account, and they are on Pinterest. I also have them in two galleries here on the Cape. One is in Woods Hole, Under the Sun, and also in the Black Crow, which is in Mashpee Commons. And then I have them in several galleries in, in the Keys. Too. So they can find you that way. And you said in the summertime in Falmouth, there's a market right down in Woods Hole. There is. It's and, fantastic. And we're hoping market. to get you up Hyannis Way, starting this way, maybe at our shanties. I'm we'll going to branch you. out. I would love to do that. Great. Definitely. For Colleen Corson, I'm Melissa Chartrand, wishing you an artful day.